Hey everyone, Sparky here and welcome to my channel. I'm continuing this new anime series I am watching called Higehiro. I thought that the first episode was enough to continue to the second. The second episode of the anime series focuses on Yoshida attempting to buy a phone for Sayu. She initially rejects the offer early on in the episode and forces a smile that bothers Yoshida. The problem of Sayu not having a phone is outlined with some key moments in the episode, such as when Yoshida had to stay back late at work to correct some errors that his subordinate, Mishima, made in her coding. As they eat a late dinner together at the office, Mishima asks if Yoshida has a girlfriend due to the changes in his work behavior. This prompts a swift denial from Yoshida, and his admission of not having a girlfriend seemed to put Mishima in a good mood, stating that she feels lucky. I have an idea of where this is going, as it's quite on the nose. Another key moment is when the woman who rejected him, Goto, asks him out to dinner, which I think he shouldn't have agreed to at all due to the way she treated him in the first episode. What I didn't know was that she happened to be his boss as well, which puts him in a dicey situation should he have succeeded at his first attempt of dating her. Goto reveals that she asked him out to dinner so that she could find out exactly what is going on and is also under the impression that Yoshida is dating Mishima, something which he switched denies. I'm not sure what Goto's deal is now, but hearing him state that he doesn't have a girlfriend and that he's still in love with her makes her happy. Yoshida's co-worker and friend Hashimoto did mention to Yoshida that Goto's rejection is only the beginning of the game. I don't like when people play the game of liking someone they previously rejected only because they seem to be unobtainable due to a new relationship. That doesn't sit right with me at all. Yoshida finally resolves to get a phone for Sayu and asks Hashimoto to accompany him to the phone store. Hashimoto warns Hashimoto warns Yoshida to resolve the issues with Sayu going forward as it could lead to the situation where she either stays with him forever or falls in love with him. He even suggests that Yoshida might fall in love with her, something which he swiftly denies as he likes older women with assets. Yoshida, of course, is already aware of that, but at the same time, he does realize the delicate situation that Sayu is in. After all, she was seducing men beforehand to let her sleep in their apartments. There is also the issue of where Sayu's parents sat at this point in the story, as they don't seem to be mounting a search for her. Yoshida does see that Sayu is spoiled. I'm unsure as to what that means, though, as she seems to be a hard worker and wants to do right by him. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on this point. And seriously, what is up with these girls at Yoshida's job? Is shaving your beard and ironing your clothes all it takes to get them interested in you? The episode takes steps towards developing the relationship between Yoshida and Sayu. The phone is simply another thing with which they are connected. This could turn out to be messy if Yoshida continues to intertwine Sayu into his life the way he is now. It's really gonna sting if her parents suddenly appear demanding her to return to Hokkaido, which I am sure is only a matter of time. I'm really hoping that he doesn't end up falling for her. I'm hoping that he ends up with his subordinate Mishima, even though that isn't advisable. I'm not a fan of dating co-workers personally. If you like the content, please like the video and subscribe to the channel as it helps with the algorithm. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you all next time.